Right, so back again. Today I'm going to chat to you about, um, so what are my plans for the future? Um, one of the things that I've come to realize in uh, South Africa was that um, besides all the many mistakes that I made, um, I was doing a lot of things for the wrong reason. So, you know, where do you get an opportunity in life to start over and to have enough flexibility on a financial capacity to be able to consider things such as, well, should I do a bachelor's degree? Okay, there's a, a university here called KU Leuven, which is regarded in the top 35 best universities in the world, okay? I think it ranks as the number one university definitely in Europe. And on world standings, I think it's positioned at about 35, somewhere around there. So um, I have to make up my mind as to why I would want a bachelor's degree, number one. And at this point in time, it's probably just something as a nice to have behind my name. Um, the faculty I'm looking at is pretty much business administration and economics. It's a bit above me. It's not really what I want to do long term. I mean, it's three years to obtain this degree. Um, but the good thing is it'll impart fantastic knowledge in terms of business, business acumen. Um, and all of that I think is important, you know, so I have to weigh that up. The other thing that I'm really passionate about and one of the big driving factors for me coming to Europe was I wanted to start a food blog, okay, but um, I've always had a passion for food, I believe I'm a pretty competent cook and um, I've done a few French cooking courses in my life so I intend including that, um, but the the niche market, if you want, that I'm going to be targeting is the ketogenic diet. Okay, so what is a ketogenic diet? Very simply put, a ketogenic diet is when the body utilizes your own fat reserves as an energy source. Okay, and the way that this is achieved is one first has to get your body into a state of ketosis. Now, in order to do that, um, possibly not the best recommended way to do that, but probably one of the quicker ways to do that is to actually fast for a period of days. Okay, The details I'm not 100% clued up on. I'm waiting for a book to come out, which I'll be receiving on the 16th. Um, and that's written by a doctor in the United States who's a specialist on the ketogenic diet. So... Once I've read that, I'll have a lot more information. But basically what happens is once the body goes into a state of the ketosis, this is achieved when there's no longer uh, carbohydrate in the body and the body is not relying on carbohydrate synthesis for its energy reserves. Okay, um, That is when the switch is made, ketone bodies are created. And these ketone cells, if you want, have the ability to synthesize your fat as energy for the body. Um, this, this was pretty much um, documented and created in approximately 1929. This diet was developed for people who suffered from epilepsy. And what's, what they've uncovered recently is that people who suffer from dementia, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's disease, all of these people benefit hugely from a ketogenic diet, okay? So basically in a nutshell, starting point to explain to you is that what we're trying to do is our bodies will no longer rely on carbohydrate intake. So what that means is we cannot eat rice, potatoes, any starches. Um, all our carbohydrate intake needs to come through vegetables. and. The widest category that one can look at in terms of vegetables and to keep that carbohydrate value down 
is to think of green vegetables predominantly. Okay. Now, that has various limitations because in terms of food presentation and when you're having a food blog, obviously photography is going to be very important. I'm not easily able to get the color differentials I'd like to have, which starches can lend themselves in cuisine. Okay. So um, I'm going to have to overcome that challenge and hopefully find ways within which to make the food look really appealing. Um, Taste-wise, I know the flavor will always be there. Um, so that's what I'm looking at in terms of you know, building an online business going from here on till eternity. Um, and I'll obviously learn more and more about the, the ketogenic diet, but essentially what this ketogenic diet, uh, the way that it works is one's taking in on a daily basis 70% fat, 25% protein, and 5% carbohydrates. Okay. Um, and then, obviously, the natural question most people ask is, but I thought fat was so bad for you. No. Um, society has had us believe that fats are really bad for us, and they're not. It's nothing further from the truth. Um, <clears throat> really, what you want to be taking in is a lot of coconut oil. Okay, So, even throughout the day, whether it be that you have coffee or tea, you're going to be putting in a teaspoon minimum of coconut oil, okay, you've got to increase your fat intake, okay, um, and then what one's got to be careful of, which I'm a sufferer of, I mean, coming from South Africa and loving my meat, I tend to eat too much protein, okay, now when you have a too high a percentage of protein in the body, um, that which is not synthesized or used for building of muscles and those sort of things, again, will be uh, consumed through carbohydrate. Okay, so one's got to be careful there. You've got to ensure that your protein intake is not too high. Okay, um, so that's what I'm going to be focusing on. I've seen huge benefits, I mean, and I've heard of people losing as much as 20 pounds of weight um, in a two-week period. So yes, a large percentage of that probably is water, but um, I've been doing it for a period of two, nearly three months in South Africa before I came here. And uh, let me tell you, I experience all sorts of benefits. Um, I generally have quite an oily skin. Uh, I don't seem to have much of that anymore, although since I've been in Europe and, and here in, in Brussels, um, I've been eating, you know, the Brussels way. I mean, you can't be in this country and not have frit and not have the beautiful breads and chips and well, that's frit. Um, so, you know, it's just a period of time that I'm acclimatizing once I've got uh, a stable residence and I've got a kitchen I can cook in. Um, obviously I'm going to switch across and then I'll start doing videos on that and doing cooking demonstrations and all of that sort of thing. So, you know, in a nutshell, that's where I'm at. I know where I want to go long term. In the short term, do I want to couple studies in terms of a bachelor's? So almost I'm going back in time now, almost to being a student, but at the same time, having the ability to be able to do something that I'm passionate about, and that's my food blog. Um, and yeah, as I say, I mean, I'm getting into video now, I'm becoming, I'm feeling a little more comfortable speaking on camera, and I think that's what it is, you know, it's uh, in the beginning one tends to focus on what you look like in the actual videos and those sort of things, and looking at your own face and speaking can be a bit challenging in the beginning. But you've just got to basically, you know, disengage from the camera and you've got to just speak your mind, speak what's on your mind and uh, try and impart information. Obviously, to some of you, this might be, you know, uh, information I'm sharing with you that, you know, you're interested in or, or you enjoy. Um, but if not, I mean, watch the next video. <laughs> 
Cool guys, so that's uh, just to let you know where I'm at and what my thoughts are. And uh, I look forward to chatting to you more in the future. Cheers.